as you expect, what usually happens in the final uh, week of every month is uh, the market adjusting a little bit, trying, according to, to balance up their books, mutual funds, or what you call the fund managers, traders, dealers, everyone, try to wrap up the month. So what you saw on Friday, 0.45% for the week gain, may continue a bit into the, uh, today, tomorrow, but again, a bit of a tapering when the market moves on. So this is August final trading week. Thank goodness we got the GDP in the box. Roti Bifakai is uh, live to us from the trading floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange in downtown Lagos. Roti, it's good to see you over the weekend. The GDP numbers out about uh, uh, three hours ago uh, was a punch in the stomach for some of us. Was it? Was that for you? Oh, well, it's fairly in that direction as well. Yes, so, so, you, it, it, so how are you digesting it? A bit of a, an upset? Well, um, is to an extent expected for what we are seeing vis-a-vis -vis the happenings within the economy and uh, also externally. So it isn't unexpected what we are seeing right now. But the bottom line is that at least we can still see some hope ahead of us and believe that uh, things definitely will get better. Uh, well, what sectors within the GDP numbers do you think may be investors and those of you who are traders may say, well, it looks like this sector is growing. Can I look at companies listed on the exchange, your exchange, within that space? Well, uh, the agricultural, agricultural sector is, will very much come to mind. And uh, I, I think uh, um, quarter on quarter, we've really seen a lot of trajectory in that direction. And I believe strongly that um, with more insight into that particular sector, I believe investors may not be able to miss out on the real point of, uh, of the investment in terms of uh, what kind of returns they're going to get. So I believe strongly that um, with the way it is right now, the agricultural sector will definitely be the, uh, draw the ire of investors. And I think uh, that is going to be a really major focus. But we don't have many of them listed on the exchange. But we have a few in the construction sector, including the cement and the construction giants like, uh, and then in the food beverages. Exactly. And uh, looking at it again, the very major one that is listed here, at least has been doing well for quite a while, a while. I don't think they are really getting much of contracts from the present uh, regime, that is Julius Berger. And I think uh, that one is also a major concern. Though their books have uh, had some form of improvement, but at the same time, we still expect that uh, with the kind of experience they've had within the Nigerian economy space, they should be able to get more job, and uh, that should. Uh, that may be able to translate to better figures in, pre uh, uh, in the next quarter or for the year end. Yeah, a final one. Well, give us some heads up for this week. Are there big earnings on the street? Uh, everyone would have to balance their books uh, this week to wrap up the month, isn't it? Uh, yes, I think uh, for what we saw last week, with a change of 0.45% uh, positive, and uh, still, with, with the OSHA index at 7.37 percent year-to-date negative, I think uh, there is slight improvement. And I believe that uh, though we may not be able to even out that uh, negative position for the year-to-date by the end of this week, but I think I still believe that there should be some trajectory, especially from the banking sector stocks, as the month comes to an end. Uh, okay, Roti Bifakaija, thank you very much. It's early uh, Monday morning, so let's warm it all up with the GDP numbers and get across to you through the rest of the week from Enterprise Stockbrokers, the CEO and trader, live from the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Let's hang it all there for today. Whatever you're doing, put a GDP in your mix, and then let's continue the conversation tomorrow, Tuesday, the second trading day of the week. News comes first here, as always. This is Channel Television, Nigeria's news leader.